Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're gonna talk about the latest Windows 11 update for the May release, which is the Bell 2000 621.1485. This is the C release for the May release. For those of you who don't know how the May release system works, make sure to check out the article below because there you will find more information about this. Also, you need to note that this is an optional update, so you will not automatically get it. You have to search for updates and manually download it because the Windows update service will not automatically download it as it is an optional update. If you enjoy videos like these in which we talk about different Windows 11 updates, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech page channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, this update introduces notifications for Microsoft accounts in the start menu. This is only available to a small set of users, but it will deploy more broadly in the coming months. And of course, some devices may notice different visual treatments to this. Also, the search box on the taskbar will be lighter when you set Windows to a custom color mode. This will occur when you set the windows mode to dark and the app mode to light and settings, personalization, and colors. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects the notepad combo box and settings. It fails to show all the available options. This update also addresses an issue that affects Microsoft PowerPoint. It stops responding. This occurs when you use the accessibility tools. Also, this update addresses an issue that affects Microsoft Narrator. It fails to read items in drop-down lists in Microsoft Excel. And also, this update fixes some issues that affect USB printers. The system classifies them as multimedia devices even though they are not. This update also adds many new features and improvements to Microsoft Defender for Endpoint. For more information, you can check out the article below in the video description. And regarding this build, of course, we have a whole bunch of other small fixes and improvements, but talking about the highlights, these are all the highlights of this build, the C release for the month of March and the main release of Windows 11. And of course, we have a Windows 11 service in stack update with the version 20061.1482. This update makes quality improvements to the service and stack, which is the component that installs Windows updates. Service and stack updates ensures that you have a robust and reliable service and stack so that your devices can receive and install Microsoft updates. Also, if you're interested in the known issues for this build, you can check out, of course, the article below in the video's description. At the end, I'm sorry if my voice sounds different. I have a call right now, but hopefully you were able to understand the important facts that I wanted to speak about related to this latest latest Windows 11 update in this video. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.